Hi, I'm Pat Hindle with Microwave Journal, and I'm here at European Microwave Week 2022 in Milan, talking with Marie Hattar, Chief Marketing Officer at Keysight Technologies. So, Marie, you uh, gave a very interesting talk. You talked about uh, bringing, advancing innovation in artistry, beauty, and curiosity. That is a very interesting uh, way to put it. How did you come up with that topic, and what were some of the highlights of that talk? Uh, thanks, Pat. Uh, first of all, it's great to see you in Milan. And as you know, Leonardo da Vinci is the theme of this conference. And uh, he is the ultimate engineer. Uh, he brought beauty and creativity with artistry together. And that was my inspiration. And at Keysight, we're always innovating first to market solutions, but we do that with a sense of beauty and artistry. And I really wanted to share that sense of curiosity with the audience here because we all come to this conference to learn, to collaborate together. And I felt it was a good theme to use to talk about the wonderful innovations that we're seeing here that help improve our lives and, and make it better in such a beautiful setting. And so how are you incorporating these attributes into your products and, and uh, Keysight technology uh, solutions? Uh, sure. So, uh, for example, uh, we take a lot of pride in the artistry of our semiconductors that we use. We have uh, specific gallium arsenide and idium phosphide fabs that allow us to deliver and create some amazing high performance instruments. Uh, we take beauty uh, as, a, as an example and bring that into our software. So not only are we able to provide the measurement science, but also the analysis and then the workflow automation, allowing engineers anywhere to innovate faster, bring solutions to market first. And then last but not least, the creativity that we try to unleash is to allow our customers, in addition of ourselves, to keep pushing the yard forward, whether it's in 6G innovations, whether it's in the university collaborations that we do. Uh, it, it's really about bringing it all to unleash what I like to think, the beauty, the collaboration, the artistry, and the creativity so that uh, we can let everybody innovate. And so you're involved in research, uh, industry, academia. How are you bringing innovation across these uh, different places? Uh, sure. So we we have a lot of university participation, whether it's teaching labs to more PhD sponsorships to specific collaborations that we do, for example, with the University of Stuttgart, uh, where uh, we have a 6G test bed uh, that they're leveraging for some of the research that they're doing. And then we also participate with a lot of those projects to to push the boundaries and then we bring that into our product so that we can scale this across the board. We also participate in a lot of consortia and a lot of programs across the board such as the 6G flagship in Finland as an example. And so you did mention 6G. I mean you've been in the beginning of 5G and now you're at the beginning of 6G research. Can you highlight some of the other activities you're doing in the area of 6G research? Uh, sure. So we participate, of course, in all of the standards bodies because in many ways we have to be ahead of the curve and our plan is to lead in every way possible in terms of get ahead of the curve, provide what's needed, whether it's in the 6G component testing to the various 6G wideband test beds. Uh, but fundamentally, it's about staying ahead of the standards, making sure we're partnering with a lot of the market makers to ensure that the instruments that we deliver uh, and the partnerships that we have with them let them innovate as you know as fast as the standards will allow them to go. So it's really something that we pride ourselves on, and uh, we as you as you look around the booth area today, you'll see that we have so many of the 6G innovations showcased here. So I hope you have an opportunity to go and visit with a lot of our technical experts. Yeah, that's my plan for the next thing I'm going to do. Uh, thank you so much for uh, leading the industry, and we appreciate you talking with us today, Marie, coming to you from European Microwave Week 2022 in Milan.